Ewan, hello. Hi. It, it's been a couple days, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been oh, one week. And a millennia. Yeah. So welcome to Earth Analog. Okay. I'm not going to tell you how to play. Good luck. First time being on Earth? Oh, it's mouse and keyboard, by the way. Oh, cool. <laughs> That'd be good to know. <laughs> so this game was built by one person. Okay, one person. Uh-huh. And it took him two years. And he had a beta test of five people for six months. Starting a game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, easy. Easy? Yeah. Okay. And um, Tutorial? Yeah. Um, yeah, probably. So the, the five people were completely ignored for their input. And the dude put it on Steam anyway. Mm. And now, like, people are kind of ribbing him about it. Is it a good game or a bad game? I can tell you. Or you could find out. Currently we're on patch uh, 3. And there's a new patch going out next week, I believe. So this is... What are we? February, March? March foist, I think. Yeah. This video goes up in April, by the way. Okay. That's right. That's so we hopefully need... the quality of life patches will be done by now. Do we need this? The story? No. 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 What's the sense in doing that? You gotta buy the game if you want to see the story. So the story is, um, probes have gone across the world, uh, the worldwide in space, world space. Mm -hmm. yes, that makes sense. Into deep space to <laughs> investigate planets, and they found something interesting. And you're a human who decided, hey, I'm gonna go take a look at it. Sweet. But there's not enough fuel to get back. This is a one-way trip. Okay. All systems cool. ready. Blank. Here's the tutorial. Uh, rough systems being eight years in lead bed, my feel sore from long sleep, fascinating. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Yeah. Cool. You've been sitting in that seat for years. Whoa. You can start a system, press W twice to throttle up 20%. Inertia makes it difficult to maneuver the ship. Mm hmm. Okay. It's the crappy kind of inertia, not like uh, No Man's Sky. Mm hmm. Yeah. So do I want to go that way? S to throttle down. S hold space to fire the retro thrusters. <laughs> okay. D to roll. Uh. Ugh. A to roll. Yeah. Yep. Okay, time for dynamics. Throttle up 100%. Go. Oh, boy. Yep. Uh. Go. Go. You're going. There we are. Just takes a little bit. Do, do, do. Superman 64? That was my thought too. Yeah. Why have them different shape? Or different orientations? I don't know. They probably want you to spin so that they're always square to you or something. It doesn't even matter if you hit them all. You can miss some of them. Like, oh. if you miss one, you don't have to fly back and get it. I should hope not. Oh, no. Gonna miss it. Bye-bye. We're going this way. Yay. Hooray. You want to do the tutorial. Yeah. Tutorials are good. Because we never do them. Bye-bye. There's a reason why we don't do them. No. Good job. Well, goodbye forever. Uh. Retro boosters. What do those do? Uh, that's your break. Retro boosters are my break. Yep. Yeah. That's lame. Oh well. Earth is 3.37 light years away. Yeah. So there is no hope of getting back ever. Nope. Okay. Based on the scan, something, something, something. Whoa. That's your um. Flight path. Yes. Why don't I just go there? 
You don't need to, but your ship will burn up. Oh, you have to hit it at a certain... Yeah, because you kind of have a health bar. Hmm. Yeah, it's not great. Okay, slow it down there, Smokey and the Bandit. Have you watched that movie? Eh, or the TV show? A little bit. How about Starsky and Hutch? Yes. How about Baywatch? No. Mm. This is very hard to look at. Young and the Restless. Yeah. Unfortunately, I've seen that on television before. Days of Our Lives. Mm-hmm. That's another one that's just unfortunate that you have to watch. <laughs> It's like wrestling, you know, there's a whole big backstory that if you want to, you can get into. Oh, we have proper thrusters, hey? Yeah. Wow. And there's an even faster thruster. Is there? Sure is. You don't have any fuel for it yet. Woo! Yeah. So you can skip off the atmosphere, by the way? Can you? Yeah. I don't know why he he programmed that into it, but you can. Oh. Yeah. Follow the path. Notice how the dynamics change when the ship enters the atmosphere. Okay. Let's go full speed. Full speed? Yeah. All right. Just crank it. Crank speed on. Because we are in a hurry. We're in a hurry to crank that speed. Because you're still doing the flight tutorial, and there's, like, things you need to know. Like, how to get fuel, by the way. Your fuel runs out. Sweet. Yeah. And, this ain't uh, a big planet, is doing it? Doing some action costs fuel. So, like, drilling for more fuel costs fuel. To charge the booster with dark energy? What? Little explanation. Um, oceans and big bodies of water create dark energy, and you can use a booster for it. The dark energy meter is on your left-hand side. It's the little green vertical thing. Oh. Yeah. So if you hold Q. Q. You go faster. Oh, that's cool. But only when you're above water. Okay, F3 to bring up the... Sc okay, scanner time. <laughs> cool. Uh -huh. Sk ship is equipped with a scanner that scans the subterranean surface in four directions. You currently set the scan for fresh water. As you fly at an altitude of around 5,000. That's very specific. Uh, scan three, press num enter. <laughs> Okay, to scan forward for fresh water. Okay, trace of fresh water found. Now you can use a depth scan to determine how deep below the surface water is located. Fly at a range of four. Okay, let me read. What? You you flew over it. Okay. Well. Um. Don't crash. You can fly this way then, I guess. Don't crash. Don't uh, crash. This way. So I gotta go that way. Yeah. So and then I slow my boost to 10. Okay. Disable thrust, lower to 10%. Use retro thrusters to break. Gently land the ship. When you've touched down on the surface, press C. Jesus. So uh, recently there was a patch that displays kilometers in decimals when you get close enough. Okay. Otherwise it was really hard to land earlier. Because you could be like up a kilometer and like try and land and it won't work, and then you just like skip off the ground and die. Hmm. Yeah. Gently land, press C to anchor the ship once you've landed. Just wail on the C key until you land. <laughs> Perfect. Perf. C. <laughs> like Perfect. a glove. Like a motherfucking glove. Press F2 systems page, select drill using numpad arrow keys, <laughs> and press num... What? It's a good thing I'm not on a laptop, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Imagine not having a number pad? Uh-huh. Okay, drill. Yep. Enter. What? This is press the repair mini game. a key when the needle is in the colored area. Okay. Perfect. 57%. Perf. Uh, drill for fresh water. Press F4 to bring up the drill page. Uh -huh. Press plus uh -huh. to set the drilling target depth to 350, then press enter. This what, is unnecessarily complicated. What the game doesn't tell you is this is a mini game, and you have to press a button to uh, break the green squares. 
What? So press a key when the drill is inside a green layer. Yes. Drilling succeeds when the drill head reaches target depth. Okay. Because you can fail this. And if you run out of fuel, you're screwed. Oh. Yeah. Drilling report. Speed factor 1H2O. Got scientific data. Found opal. The water creates a fascinating play of light. You found a rock. Great. I went through space to find a rock. Yep. Energy experience water. Behold, there is an interesting casualty that kind of opal. Keep my rear. Blah, blah, blah. The last task of the test is to land on the moon. Proceed to take off. Okay, Jesus. Alright. Guess this place has no gravity. Where am I going? The moon. The moon? Okay. Where's the moon? In the sky. Duh. Okay. But does the moon hit your eye? Like a big pizza pie. That's a moray. Oh. A moray eel. Are you looking for Io? Okay. Io! Hey! Okay. Where's the moon? <laughs> I don't know. No dark energy. Already? Dark energy only works above water. Really? Yep. And it doesn't Why? accumulate. It runs out. Why? But you do have your thrusters. That's E. Full thrust mode on. Thrust is at a hundy. There's a, a, fa a faster boost, too. Uh, which button is that? Let's see. I don't oh. remember. E... W W W spin we do a helix roll Wee. do an aileron roll wow what is this game why was it made that's a very good question this seems like no man's sky but even less men <laughs> even slower yeah why? um it's supposed to be an open world exploration game. And what is there to explore? You're only doing the tutorial so far. Yeah, but is there life forms to find? No. Oh. Yes. That kind of takes the fun out of exploring a planet. Well. I, I could spoil it for you. Spoil it. Let's mm -hmm. hear it. So the dude built his own game engine so he can create custom planets using fractals. Mm. Yeah. That's it. That's the only reason he made this? I mean, it looks really cool. Yeah, I suppose. It's very pretty. It's not easy to play. No. Or very fun. <laughs> or intuitive. But there's a lot of neat things to look at, and that's about it. That's huh. my biggest complaint. Well. Yeah. Seeing it is space, after all. Space is mostly empty. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a lot of empty space in my head. Maybe we should uh, cave it in on this moon. <laughs> Just a You're almost on the tutorial. You have to get to the <sighs> next beacon. The next beacon... It's on the moon somewhere. Somewhere on the moon. I'm going to take a fat guess and say... It ain't going to be a good beacon. And he's going to just be like, hey. How about uh, you don't... Don't crash. Nah. Don't crash. Okay. Impact alert? Nah. We all good. Okay. Try to fly straight and press Z to do alternative controls. What? Yep. Try land using the vertical and lateral thrusters this time. Too bad I'm already friggin' here. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> that's real bad. I'd rather just anchor now. Sweet. You did it. Wow. Return to planet orbit. Can't wait to sit and wait for that. Just kidding, you have to go yourself. Alright, which planet are we going to? Which one's got the bishes on it? Eh, I want to see what it looks like burning up in orbit. Just put the pedal to the metal. Pedal to the metal? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what else can I do to go faster? That's about it. That's about it? Oh my god. <laughs> Distress beacon. Yep. Oh, that's a shame. So now that the tutorial is over, the game actually starts. Well, I want to burn up in orbit because I'm done. This is 
There's nothing to do. There's two missions you have to do. Oh, yes, but also, uh -huh. I can burn up. Goodbye, world. Wait, am I not burnt up? No. What? How fast am I going that I didn't burn up in orbit? Do you just skip across it? What the hell? You have to do the frustrating one. Come on. The frustrating one? Yeah. How frustrating is this? It's the reason why I gave up playing after 45 minutes. Is it worth my effort? It's really close. Okay. So you could do it. Like, no problem. Uh, is it another mini game? No. No? Worse? You have to find two beacons and land. Uh, boosting. You should probably bring up your beacon scanner. Uh, if I knew, I would. Scanner. Scanner. What button is that? F2? F2. Mm, no. Uh, system. F3? F3. Scan. There you go. Now scan with uh, number enter. We're going to pretend that nothing happened. Nothing at all. No. Just like sexy S Flanders. So you hit the enter key to scan, and the game not only crashed, it locked up my computer, and everything died. Yeah. That was kind of freaky. However, thank the Lord above that uh, I have OBS set to, like, export proper video, that even mm -hmm. if it crashed, you know, it can jump right back in. All right, so what's my mission? Um, I think you just finished the tutorial. Beacon signal on yeah. your... Signal your... The, the planet. Your school... That thing. The, the big green ball. It's down there. Yes. Thrusting. So, gotta go fast. Okay. Going fast. Full thrusting. Yep. Thrusting harder. Okay. Deeper. Faster. Longer. Oh, I gotta go that way. I'll just hit it at an angle then. Eh. There we go. Eh. <laughs> That's the sound the ship makes, right? Just eh. That's that squeaky turtle noise when it's like humping that <laughs> shoe. Oh, I love that video. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Let's see if I can find it right away. Oh, you likely can. Um, so, yes. does this game get better at any point? No. No? You ever had dreams about space? Or being a spaceman? Any anecdotes about space? When I was a kid, I had dreams. <laughs> and then I grew up. Dang. I mean, yeah. You know what, maybe I shouldn't use the dark matter boost thing. Maybe that's what did it? Oh. That <laughs> noise. Yes. The sound of a <laughs> shuttle coming back into orbit. You're coming in too hot. Okay, <laughs> 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 uh, how far away do you think you are? Uh, that's pretty far. Bacon. Mm -hmm. Except you know, the A is just a triangle and not in place. Like breakfast, but for dinner. Mm. I would have breakfast for dinner. Next you're going to say you can have breakfast and lunch at the same time. You can have breakfast and supper at the same time. Yeah. Um, okay, am I supposed to go in orbit? You realize that's kilometers, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Why is the beacon in the sky? So when you do the tutorial, it puts you away from that first beacon. Why? If you started a new game, you'd be at that beacon. Mmm. Yeah. That's really stupid. Quality of life. Wouldn't it be great if you just, like, get the first beacon after, after the tutorial? Yeah. Just don't force the player to go all the way across the planet and make it look like it's on the planet. Okay. It'd actually be faster to uh, quit the game and start a new game. Oh, likely. Yeah. Here we go. 
almost there, and then it's going to zoom right past me. No, and then you have to go back to the planet. Really? <laughs> yep. Wow. <laughs> Spoilers. Wow. Hello, Beacon. Do I have to hit you? It's pretty big. There okay. you go. There's the hitbox. What a relief. We share optimism about this place. Yeah, it's got Earth-like features. Cool. Beacon. Can I bonk? Mm. No, no bonk. Beacon. Find this island. Beacon signal uh. detected. Why? Uh-oh. Eh. So the cursor does not lock to the window? That's even less intuitive. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. And there's no option to change that. Hey, I see a red thing. Oh, yeah. Almost should, like that's uh, what I'm supposed to go to. Fl fly toward it, maybe. Eh. Oh, wow, it's the beacon. But I should probably slow down. You're, you're lucky because this was changed in a patch. The beacons show up earlier now. Add a little bit of speed. And then take it away. Yeah, there's that island. Well. How can you move so slow going in orbit? What do you mean? Because you're able to just slow right down even when you start hitting terminal velocity. Like all you gotta do is, oh, I got thrusters, I go, arch. Well, you think you'd slow down because you hit gravity. Or, uh, you'd atmosphere. You'd speed up from gravity, though. Yeah. But friction from atmosphere. I guess. Wow. Bacon. Bacon? What are you doing here? Reachable H2O found. Yeah. Give it the old reach around. Eh, how close do I need to be to you? You have to land on it. Land on it? Or as close as you can get to it without actually hitting it. Uh, where are you? They're not small, by the way. They're quite a bit larger than your ship, which makes no sense. Whoa. Why do you just instantly go super speed? So that's a... A feature, not a bug, which I is going to be patched out in the next patch. <laughs> uh huh. Just land. Okay. See, anchor me. Thank you. Uh, Drilling the terrain went well. Tons of interesting data. Uh -huh. Is that all? Um. Do I get up now? I think you take off again. Wow. Oh, what's that? Where am I going? What are you doing? Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Why do you go max speed here? Because that was your, your thrusters, your retro thrusters. You want to use the um, up and down. I'm using the up and down. It'll just randomly boost to 100. Okay. Find another beacon, another beacon cryptic description. Ah, uh, that's annoying. So you should probably scan for this one because it's quite a bit of ways across the ocean. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow. Quite a ways across the ocean, you say. Yeah. And you can miss it. Okay, so it appears to be... Oh, I don't have to give a darn about the marker it gave me. Just supposed to find the other one. If you had your headphones on, it would like beep at you. Oh, uh, it's got that stupid. Yeah. Okay. Well, is this the mission that you hated? No. No? The next one? You're getting close. Oh my god. You have to land one more time. Land once more? They want you to try and break your freaking hull? Is that it? You can actually load up your quest window. Um, F5. Oh! Oh! Ah. Uh oh! Hit the uh, window! Window! Wow! I'm good. That didn't work. That was weird. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. Why do you go instantly to that again? What happens if you hit F5 on your keyboard? If I hit F5? Oh, I got hot keys on. You got hot keys? Hmm, ah, okay. Okay, which way am I going? So that uh, computer crash reset my key, key bindings on my keyboard? Oh. Yeah. Okay, where am I supposed to go? What the heck is this? I saw a thingy. Okay. There, that's your your signal strength. 
Okay. You want to get a 200. Like a radar. How come when you're on the Earth, the surface of the planet, the instant you touch go, it goes 100% or nothing? Because the scale is weird. Okay, is that Your it? ship is a lot smaller than you think it is. Yeah, but it goes from a 0 to 100 thrust. You gotta land by it. Uh, again? Yeah. Uh, why would I want to land by it? I don't know. Ow, my eyes. Ta-da. Wow, a spark plug. Okay. Cool. That, that was a beacon. The, the beacon, by the way. Really? You, you haven't found the beacon yet. So I have to look for another one of those things? That was a collectible. That was a collectible? Yeah. That's stupid. What the heck? That's the moon. Don't go to the moon. Uh, yeah, and this you can just zoom. You're on the moon. Okay. I would use the super boost, but I'm afraid it'll frick up the game again. That was the scanner that broke it. Are you sure? Yeah. Because I told you to scan for a beacon, and then you hit the number key, and it died. Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing happened. Nothing happened. No one got hurt. Uh, should I go in orbit? Doesn't even seem like it would be worth it. I don't know. Do you think people will colonize Mars eventually? No. No? We're not going to live to see that. We won't live to see that seems like an insurmountable thing to colonize somewhere so close to the sun. Did you just use a big two dollar word? I How guess. dare you? I don't insurmountable? Know. I don't know. I know words. Isn't I just that a don't thing you put them. on a tripod? Oh, uh, okay. I must be using the word wrong. <laughs> <laughs> insurmountable. Uh, Isn't that a flavor of ice cream? You know, like Wait Rocky Road and Hot Fudge? Yeah, I that's like the, the one. Inter insurmountable flavor, thank you. Mm -hmm. In a waffle cone, two scoops. Mm hmm. Isn't that the name of a ship? <laughs> the Insurmountable? Oh, is it? probably. It's like the Titanic 2 and it sank right away. <laughs> uh, Q, no dark energy. E, full thrust. Okay. How am I supposed to find the stupid beacon? It's insurmountable, too great to overcome. So there has to be a ship named it. Oh, probably. Where in the bejesus is this supposed to be? Be nice if I was allowed to scan. The HMS Indomitable. Indomitable. The Indubitable. HMS Victorious. Mm. The HMS Despicable. Uh, what is this game? I, I don't even know anymore. Do I... I want to be in the clouds. Does it matter? You can try and scan. I'm afraid to. <laughs> I've never had it crash before. I even like tested this game to make sure it worked. I've... Scan, you say. Yeah. All right. You go up to five kilometers and you, you scan in a, in a direction. Altitude is 5,000 you have to be. There, There is no in insurmountable ship. Really? Yeah. So, so if you ever get a boat, especially a race boat, okay. If boat? the video ends right now, it's not my fault. Okay. Three, two, <laughs> one. Scanning for H two. I don't want H two O. You the beacon scanner. Where's the beacon scanner? Do I got F E artifacts, surface, beacon? See, you know, intuitive. Scanning for beacon. Revealed on HUD. HUD updated. What? I can't see anything. Where is this beacon? Mavis beacon, you there? No, no dark energy. I'm not that close to the surface. God dang. <laughs> what? This game is yes. completely counterintuitive in all possible ways. I 
What are you talking about? It's a perfect masterpiece. It's a perfect masterpiece, yes. You just have to get better at it. Duh. Yeah, just get good. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look like color vomit. It, it kind of bothers me that there's like five different menus and you have to use the function keys to get to them. Mm -hmm. And then you have to use the uh, number pad to like navigate it. Mm hmm. Okay. It says it revealed it on the HUD. Uh huh. Did it though? No. Okay, we'll try again. Yes. Scan. Uh -huh. Scan. 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 Why aren't you scanning? Are you not high enough? I'm at around 5,000 on and off. Am I on the wrong planet? No. Okay, what? F1, 2, 3, 4, The, the next five, beacon would have been six. within a, a one minute flight of where you were. Strength. What? Really? This is what you have to do? You have to choose F6 unprompted? Signal strength getting weaker, changing, getting stronger. Hooray. You're making progress. Uh, You're finally doing it. Well, I'm just going to let it sit here for a moment, have a nice little sip of my drink. Have you ever had a Mr. Pib? Mr. Pib? No. Mm. Do, you, I, do you like uh, licorice? Eh, sometimes. That's what it tastes like. Really? Uh -huh. I don't think I'd like a drink that tastes like it. <laughs> and this is coming from a guy who's had uh, salted licorice. And I liked it. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Never come back. I went to a little Dutch bakery. It was nice. Oh. Yeah. So you're evil then. I get it. No. So what if I saw a gold member? Excuse me? <laughs> How big is the planet? Um, planet sized. It doesn't seem that way. Considering the uh, atmosphere is so small. High gravity? I don't know. I didn't make it. Uh, my God. Little flying clouds. Maybe they're afraid of heights. Give me a break. So is it this way? Because they didn't really tell me on the HUD where it's supposed to be. No, 100%. It's a good thing you scan for beacons. It's a good thing the beacon scan works so well. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. You know it would be really nice? If it just gave you the next marker right away. Yeah, instead Fly of you have to here. find it. Yeah. I'm just going to go in the water. I don't care anymore. You just died. Yes. The end. I'm glad that's the end of my story. You didn't even get to the frustrating part. What's the frustrating part? Explain it to me. Oh my god. Stop. Find the next beacon. I don't want to. It's bad <laughs> it's just bad it's not enjoyable mm. at least a checkpoint it before you crashed yeah it. that was kind of nice of it yeah not that it gives you any leeway no it's like oh we'll send you a little bit closer to your thingy it's a good thing you started it on normal if you started it on hard you'd only have one life and then it's game over nice yeah. oh it starts me facing the wrong freaking way Signal strength is 3%. <laughs> I'm not finding this ever. <laughs> what the hell are you? You the one I already visited? Probably. Are you? Yeah. Oh my god. Why? Why is this game a thing? Why do you exist? In a world? It's where there's good games. Worth. Yeah. Uh. You have to go across the ocean. So mm -hmm. just dark energy boost. It's quite a ways away. Yeah, no kidding. It took me forever just to get the percentage to go from one to two. Get out of here. Why do they want you to go so close to the water? Is it being like, oh, it's like gameplay. You gotta be risky to get closer to the thingy. Oh boy. My question is why does water have dark energy in it in the first place? Yeah, you'd think you'd get that in space so you know you could travel between planets much faster. Nah. Or maybe it would incentivize you to s visit a planet along the way if you could get like a huge reserve of it to go from planet to planet. Nah. Oh, now we're not 
going the right way anymore. You think your your ship would just build it up over time? Yeah. And then you can have it in a storage tank somewhere? Yeah, you reserve it for a while. Yeah. <laughs> no, no freaking way. Yeah. No. There's your beacon. Oh, wow. BT dubs. It'll only tell you when you're within 100 kilometers. It didn't used to. It didn't even do that. Nope. That was a patch recently. Oh, my God. So you're saying this was just made by five people, but one guy just no, no, decided... It was made by one person. One person. And then a couple of people beta tested it for him. A couple people beta tested, and they said it wasn't ready? Yeah, and he didn't care. Uh, not surprised. All right. He seems very... So now you land by the beacon. Uh, throttle a little bit. Whoa. Okay. Throttle when you get close. Decides a little is a hundred. And then you just spam C. Yep. yep. It's the only way to land. Uh -huh. I drilled a mountain something something puzzling something. Hmm, interesting. Not really. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Now what? Heck if I know. Earth. Detected. Beacon. It was supposed to give you another quest. But I it didn't. I think you have to land again. Land uh, by it. Land by it again? Yeah. Oh my god. Didn't give you the second part of the quest. There it is. Find a... Travel to the where the detected. moon is below the horizon to find this light. What do you mean below the <laughs> So there's an easy way to find it. If you go to that previous beacon... Okay. There was a, a mountain ridge, and you line up the um, the big bright star in the sky with that mountain ridge, and you fly toward that. Where the hell is the moon? Don't worry about the moon. So I just have to find it on this planet? Yes. The next beacon is on this planet. Are you... Okay. You're already lost, by the way. I am very lost. So am I using this as a hot or colder? No. That thing down there? No. You're lost. I'm very lost. I wish I could use dark energy to just travel faster, but no. Travel to where the moon is below there it is. the horizon to find this land. You lucked out. Congratulations. So I should find it soon enough. Yeah. You can kind of see it, the little triangle at the bottom. There, beacon. There it is. It didn't used to show up that early. Again. That time it showed up at 200. Quality of life. Mm-hmm. kind of life is it if you're playing this game? You know. Good golly. Wait, I haven't even got to the heart. Why do I have a timer? Am I running out of fuel? You might be. Oh good, I can't wait. Nice try the retro rockets. Woo! Okay. Hooray! Uh -huh. Pick it up. Boom, boom. You're almost there. Almost and here. C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C Okay. Pray. Pray. Okay, I'm guessing I need to drill now or something to get fuel. What? Uh, what was it? Plus, 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 plus. Go. Sure. Okay. Button. Yeah. Button. Nothing found. Cool. Congratulations, you just wasted a bunch of fuel. Sweet. Yeah. All right. See. Oh, what the heck? So find the blue dot in the sky. Blue dot in the sky. Blue dot in the sky. It would have been across the, uh, the horizon somewhere. Uh, there it is. Yeah. That one. I believe that way. If I remember correctly. Okay. The game should have given you the next quest by now. Oh, there it is. There it is. 
Multiple artifacts found. Cool. Detected. Um. So six. This way? No, it says the other way. What? What? Which way do you want me to go? This way? Okay. So is this the mission you were on? Why is it so wavy now? So you got lucky. Yes. Oh, what's poppin'? Oh, there's the beacon. Why is there a timer? What timer? There's a timer. Right there. You mean the game right didn't tell you that there's a timer? No. Or, or why there's a timer? No. Huh, that's weird. Why is there a timer? Hmm. Too bad it doesn't tell you. What does the timer mean? Wouldn't you like to know? I would, but at the same time, <laughs> I don't know if I care enough about this game to ask more questions. Anchor, 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 anchor. Are you close enough? Okay. Now that I pick it up before continuing in the path. So I need to pick this up. Bonk. Okay. So what am I doing now? You're waiting for the next quest to pop up. Just waiting. Yeah. Or the timer will just decide to do whatever it feels like. What is this timer? You'll see. Uh, two. One. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. Why is that a thing? It'll just randomly flood the world? Yeah. New map waypoint added. That, that's the anomaly. That's the anomaly? Uh-huh. Because the game warns you the an anomaly detected. Uh-huh. And the planet floods. And if you don't know that, and you're still anomaly landed, detected. you die then, right away. That's stupid. And uh, especially if you don't have fuel, you can't even take off, and you die right away. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. how does it create more water? How does the water go through the land? Yeah. Well, let's take a look. Wow. It's all water now. Yep. What the hell? Is that what you wanted to show me? That's what makes it an anomaly. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. Desert world, which is also. Water world? So give me your honest opinion of this game. What do you think of this? I think it is lackluster. There's nothing going on. The controls are awful. Um, the visuals, they're okay. I mean, it's <sighs> rocks. Yeah. You can't really screw up on rocks. No, it's just a skybox and basic textures. Like, from orbit? Yeah, that looks decent. But you just don't understand. This person built this game. Yeah, anyone can build a game. <laughs> Whether or not it's good, that's different. What I don't understand is why he bothered to build his own engine and not just make it in Unity. Yeah, likely so that he wouldn't have to pay... for... The licensing fee. Licensing, yeah. I don't like this game. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna play something else? Yeah, the gameplay doesn't make sense really, it's hey, Go from marker to marker to marker to marker. Okay, cool. Can you do me a favor and give me something to do along the way? Like, uh, oh, you collect fuel by picking up these things along the way. Or, oh, hey, avoid these rocks that are falling or something. How about a tree to look at? A tree would be nice. Yeah, give me some landscape. Or give, like grass. Give me grass. Give me anything. <laughs> but it's space. There's give nothing in space but more space. You don't understand, Ewan. It's space. Mm -hmm. It is space. <laughs> Unfortunately, space can be boring. Mm. Mm -hmm. Too realistic. Yeah. And having the boost system tied to the water, so you have to be close enough that you're going to die. Yeah. And not only that, but 
it doesn't reserve. So imagine trying to get that dark energy boost, and then the anomaly happens, and it friggin' wipes your ship out. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun too. Wow. That didn't kill you. How did that not kill me? How's my system doing? Oh, looking great, sweetie. It's, wow. it's fine. It's fine. Hmm. It's fine. What does this one say? Oh, critical. Oh, that's a shame. I wish I knew how to repair it, but that's a mini game I don't know. Hmm. This is the most interesting thing I've seen so far. Well a crater. Wow. You live here now. Come on. Bonk. Easy Shield 8. Wow. Maybe I should play it on hard. Woo. Bonk. I'm done. All right. Yeah. Let's uh do something else in the next video. Yeah, please. Hooray. Bye. Goodbye.